Americans and Haitians. This week I'm going to talk about pride and how pride can really destroy you. Something I struggle with is a fear of failure. And I'd always be really scared and arrogant to fail. And I would be scared to try new things because I didn't want to fail. I didn't want to have people judge me. I didn't want to not be the best. I didn't want to, uh, you know, I had a lot of ego in it. And I always wanted to be the best and at the top. And, you know, so sometimes I would just get so arrogant, I wouldn't even try. Because I thought I was either better than that, but I really wasn't, and I would just skip all the steps all the way through. So that's the fear of failure. But the bigger fear that I have, I think, is the fear of success. Because with success comes a lot of responsibility. And sometimes I just didn't want the responsibility to want of success. So if I did a good job, I, whatever it was, succeeded. I'd have to take on the responsibility, I'd have to act a certain way, I'd have to change my whole lifestyle, I'd have to be this whole different person, I'd have to... It was just a lot of responsibility that people would look up to you and that people would follow you and that kind of thing. So fear of success was pretty stressful and then I just learned about pride the other day. And I'm not too familiar, but I've been listening to uh, this preacher preach about pride. I don't have it all dialed in right now. I'm trying to remember a lot of it. Um, and pride is a big killer in your success because when you ask for like a lot of blessings and manifest, and then God gives you, you know, that practice that you wanted, and then you get that practice, and then you become really prideful, and then you think it's over, and then that's the end of it. That kind of kills everything right there. You know, and then you stop praying for more success, you stop praying for more manifestations, you stop giving praise to God or whoever or whatever, and you kind of just slow down and stop and think like it was all you, all your hard work, I did this, I made it, I'm here, that's the end of it. That's just the beginning. That's the biggest test that God or whoever the universe is going to give you to see if you're going to make it to the next level and really, really succeed and really get there is when that test comes, you know, like you had the courage, you stepped out of your comfort zone, you went into uncertainty, you, you opened up, you did your adjustments, you graduated college, you opened your practice, you did your thing, and now the real test comes. God says, okay, here it is. Everything you asked for, here it is. What are you going to do with it? You got to make sure that you always stay humble, in humility, drop the ego, and always say, you know, thank you, universe, God, whoever, whatever, and just you know, stay humble and never say that I did all this because as soon as you say that, it's over. He takes it away, you're done. You know, that's as high as you're going to go, that's as far as you're going to get. He says you're not ready for the next level. You're not ready to be, you know, the next person. So if you're a preacher and you see 10,000 people in your church and you're like, man, I want to see 100,000. God says, okay, here's the 100,000. What are you going to do with it when you get the 100,000? You just sit there and say, I did this, you get really complacent. And people start almost worshiping you like you are God or God-like. And then when that happens, that's another test that he throws at you. And you have to humble down and say, I am not God. I'm not the one who did this. I'm just here to facilitate and just stay humble and always give thanks and ask for forgiveness and say, you know, I'm sorry, I don't know everything. You know, really go to humility and say, I don't know everything. Please keep giving me the answers. Keep pushing me forward never just stop. So I, I don't totally remember the story, but it's really good. I'll write it down next time. Um, but it's really good. He talks about there's a body of water, and the guy walks to the body of water, and then he kneels down to the water to drink the water, and that's when everything stops. Like, he loses right there. Because he kneeled down and said, you know, this is the end of it. Here I am. I've made it. I've arrived, and I'm done at the body of water and drinks the water and then God says you failed the test when you're supposed to walk up to the water see the treasures that are in the bottom of the water lap the water like a dog and keep moving on and just keep moving it's never you're never done this journey never ends and you always have to keep moving forward and you know he's going to give you stuff you know as soon as you have the courage he's going to give it to you and when you get it 
you know, that's the test. Like, what are you going to do with it? You know, and how are you going to receive it? And how are you going to move forward? And, you know, keep growing and go to that next level. And I always wonder, why am I just here? Why am I stagnant? Why am I here? I did da 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 But you didn't pass the final test. And that's where most people fail. Preachers, reverends, all high-powered people, CEOs, tons of people fail this step because everyone overlooks it. And as soon as you get there, you overlook it. And this one hit me hard because in my past life, years ago, you know, I did all that stuff. I asked for everything. I got all this stuff. And then I got real complacent. I'm like, all right, fuck it. I made it. I got money, cars, whatever, all this shit. And then I just stopped. No growth. And then I felt like I was dead inside. It's like, I am dead. Like, you know, I have all this stuff, but I am dead internally. And then I failed the test. So he took it all away. I failed that test hard. I'm so good at da, 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 da. I'm so good at all this stuff. I can get it back. I can do it. I did it. And then the test came again and I fucking failed it again because I didn't recognize the test when it came. I'm like, ah, like again? And that's when the fear of success came and hit me hard. I'm like, I don't want to succeed anymore. I can't deal with this shit anymore. I don't want to succeed all the responsibility that comes with it. And then I'm going to fuck it up again. I'm going to fail again. You can't do it again. You know, it was just really, really brutal cycle. I mean, that's when the arrogance hit hard. I'm like, all right, well, I already did it. Why do I have to try? Why do I have to do anything? I already did this. So, like, just put me at the finish line. But I missed every lesson along the way to the finish line. And then when I got to the finish line, there's a little bit of adversity. I didn't have any skills to deal with the adversity because I skipped all that. I didn't learn any more lessons. So, it would get pulled from under me again. And then I just said, fuck it, I'm not trying anymore. Like, fear of failure, fear of success. And now I'm dealing with it hard and it really hits home and I, and I love it. And I think they need to talk about it more is, is pride and arrogance and that, that finish line so that all you guys can like succeed, hit it, and go to the next level. And really, really like bring it there. Because you know, a lot of people will get there, plateau, and think they're done. You're just getting started. That's the first test. Like that's, that's all of it. Just really got to do it at that point. And, and pride is, is part of it. And pride is a big one. It's not a good thing, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but pride is a big killer of, of a lot of stuff. And arrogance you know, destroys all opportunities. So, you know, really, really think about those couple points pride in the heart, you know, coming from your heart. Go deep with the pride and see what it really means. And there's some really good stuff out there and success and see what that looks like. Because all of you are going to succeed, you're all going to have the courage, you're all going to break through it, you're all going to do it and get there. But just know that that's the first test that's coming at you, so at least you got a little, a little information. We'll be doing it all. All right, I heard this before. This is it.